Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. 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 Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Are you ready for your English class? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm ready. Yes, teacher. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Let's get ready. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember from the previous class? Important dates. Important dates. Can you give me an example? Uh, for example, Valentine, Valentine's Day mm -hmm. is going to be on February 14th. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. What is another important date? that you know independent independence day okay independence day in in our our country uh, it's uh, going to be at um september 15th correct 15th uh, 15th 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 that's right okay that is correct excellent all right uh, another important date that you remember Children days. Repeat. Children day. Children's day. Okay. When is children's day? October 1st. October 1st. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions uh, related to the activities from yesterday's class? Any questions related to the activities from yesterday's class? Somebody? No teacher, in my case, uh, I finished yesterday the activity in the platform. Okay, awesome. So today we're gonna go ahead and do a review. We're going to be looking at this activity right here. We looked at yesterday, we finished uh, vocabulary related to holidays in the US. So today we're going to be looking at WH questions using be going to. Everybody, please listen to the video. About the Can everybody hear? In your country. Can you hear? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Please take Hi, notes. In this class, you'll learn please how to take ask notes. And answer. WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's? It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject 
u. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get and finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end there now is your turn to practice making wh questions with be going to i would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country all right now for this activity you were supposed to write Five examples here in the discussion forum. Todos terminaron la actividad ayer? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Yes, so, teacher. Thank yes, you, teacher. thank you. So today we're going to look at knowledge check 1.11, knowledge check. Instructions. Complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example. Instrucciones. Complete las conversaciones con la forma correcta de be going to. Siga el ejemplo. Ejemplo. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. That's the example. Let's look at the first one, conversation one. Who are you going to going to invite? Going mm -hmm. to invite to Thanksgiving dinner. dinner. Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. So I would like for everybody to complete this conversation and then we are going to check as a class. Any questions? No question. No, not teacher. All right. No you question. are going to work in pairs, complete the activity for five minutes, and then we are going to check together as a class. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's do it. Ready, let's go. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Are you finished? Yes. Okay. Please help Crespin. Solo para comparar. Sería. ¿Cuál es el número de la lección, Techa? 1.11. Going to ask.
Nuestra colección ha trabajado en la plataforma. All right, let's work, let's work. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Eh, ya nosotros, bueno, en mi caso igual, Samuel, uh, ya terminamos esa lección. Ya oh. tenemos el knowledge. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. Eh, hi guys, eh, veo que la mayoría ya terminó la actividad, so eh, vamos a chequear. Are you ready? Yes? Yes, I'm ready. ready. Yes. Okay, yes. awesome, awesome. Let's look at number one. Olga, Lilian, number one. Okay. I am, I am going to ask, uh, going to ask, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lea la oración completa, por favor. Dice, I am going to ask my family and some good friends. Perfect. Awesome. Number two, Linda, Stephanie. Sí, teacher. Number two, please. Conversation number two. No la he hecho todavía. Ah, oh, okay. No fallando el internet y no la Cres That's okay. Crispin. Sí, teacher. Okay, go ahead. What are you going to do for Halloween? Perfect. What are you going to do for Halloween? Perfect. The next one, let me have Noemi Yesenia. Letter B. Letter B, I don't know. I am not going to do anything special. Perfect. Excellent, Noemi. The next one, Rafael Antonio. Number three, Rafael Antonio. How, how are your parents gonna to celebrate New Year Eve? Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. The Thank next you. one, please, Sochi. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. Perfect. The next one, please. Uh, Rodrigo Daniel, number four. Rodrigo Daniel, tiene en silencio su micrófono. Okay. And dice, what is your sister going to do for her birthday? Birthday. Very good. Going to do. Excellent. And the last one, Maria Angelina, her boyfriend. Um, her boyfriend's going to take her auto dinner. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, good job, ladies and gentlemen. Does anybody have any questions related to this activity? No question. No questions. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, what I would like for us to do is look at section 1.12, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing how to create special occasions. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir cómo celebrar ocasiones especiales. Tania, levantó la mano. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes, of course. En qué momento en sí voy a utilizar el going to? O sea, quiero lograr comprender en qué momento en sí voy a utilizar esa parte. Correcto, correcto. Eh, vamos a utilizar el going to para expresar algo que está pre-planificado, preparado para hacerse, un plan. Como para un futuro cercano. Para un futuro cercano, un futuro de un año, un futuro de cinco años, un futuro de diez años, un futuro eh, eh, en cualquier tiempo que sea el futuro. 
pero tiene que ser una actividad planificada, una actividad que has agendado. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Good question. Thank you, Tanya, for that question. Does anybody mm -hmm. else have another question? Teacher, ¿qué quiere decir going to? Uh, going to es una frase... En fra español. Eh, sí, voy a. Voy mm -hmm. a. Voy a visitar mi familia en la vacación. I am going to visit my family on vacation. Voy a pagar el recibo el viernes. I am going to pay the bill on Friday. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Gracias. Voy a estudiar inglés. I am going to study English. Mm -hmm. uh, Rafael Antonio, Rodrigo Antonio. Okay. Sí, I have a question. Yes. Well, uh, what is the difference where when we say will? Uh, will is también para futuro. Sin embargo, will es como para intenciones, no cosas planeadas. Eh, por ejemplo, tú dices, eh, ¿qué vas a hacer esta noche? What will you do tonight? Mm -hmm. ah, tú dices, um, ver una movie. I will watch a movie. No lo agendas, solo es una intención. O tú dices, mm -hmm. ah, voy a leer mi libro. I will read a book. No mm -hmm. lo preparas, no lo planificas, solo lo haces. Es algo... Teacher, yeah. es como algo que estás preparando a hacer a futuro, pero en el mismo, en el mismo presente día, ¿verdad? O, o puede ser al día siguiente. Correcto, es algo que no has planeado, es Por ejemplo, esp espontáneo. Uh, algo que puede sí, por cambiar. ejemplo, digamos, la, la siguiente semana, I will, I will go to the visit the park the next week, por ejemplo. Ajá, uh -huh. I will visit the park. Algo que puede, es una intención, no es algo que lo tenés que hacer como, digamos, tenés un, tenés una muela mala, te, tú le llamas al dentista y le dices, hey, puedo llegar el, el lunes a verte, porque él también tienes que hacer una cita. Y él te dice, ah, sí, te puedo ver el lunes a las 8 de la mañana. Oh, ok. I am going to visit the dentist on Monday. ¿Por qué? Porque es algo planeado, algo agendado, algo, algo que lo has citado, algo formal. Pues en la diferencia de la planificación. Es, eh, es que la intención es algo que no va a cambiar. Y en, sin embargo, el will, el will puede cambiar. Por ejemplo, si tú dices, yo voy, tal vez veo una movie, eh, leo un libro... Escucho música, eh, hago ejercicio, eh, cosas que tú tal vez dices, tal vez las hago si quiero, si no, no. No es como que tenés que llamar, hacer una cita, llegar a la hora, planificar. Eh, ya es algo más involucrado. Ok, thank you. Y el will es como que si querés lo haces, si no, no. No lleva planificación, no lleva... Es una intención. ¿Qué vas a comer esta noche? Mm, maybe I will eat pupusas, or I will eat egg, or I will eat cereal. Ah, uh, maybe I will eat a sandwich, right? Lo que tú quieras. Es algo que puede cambiar, algo que... Teacher. No... Yes. Pero el gonna es como el informal, ¿verdad? El mismo will, por, porque, por ejemplo, eh, es un decir, va. I gonna to celebrate my birthday today, tonight, ¿verdad? Entonces, puede ser como un informal porque vas a hacer algo no, no formal, por valga redundancia, ¿verdad? Se puede usar el gonna en estos tipos de, de aspectos, de celebrar el party o algo así. Correct. That is correct. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. 
Okay, another question, guys? Me? Yes. Nothing, teacher. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Yes. Um, they are going to go is the same of to say gonna. That is correct. American people, they pronounce gonna. They don't say going to. The pronunciation is gonna. But, uh, but I can I can say going to or always. Oh. Um, yes, of course. It's more formal. Me personally, I pre I prefer going to because I am a professional and my job, I work with professional people, lawyers. So I speak very, very uh, professional. But in the informal, uh, uh, in the informal, like Crespin uh, said, if you're talking about your friends, the party, yeah, you can say Ghana is informal. Can I okay, write thank you. Ghana? Oh, yes, of course. I'm going to write it on the Ghana Go on the chat. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now we're going to look at special occasions. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Okay, guys, antes de continuar, necesito tomar una captura de pantalla. Así que necesito que todos eh, enciendan sus cámaras para esta actividad. Y después puede seguir eh, con la cámara apagada si usted desea. Esto es porque Insoforp nos está pidiendo que tomamos no solamente la asistencia, sino que la persona aparezca allí y no una foto. Esto es como para evidenciar que sí estamos recibiendo las clases. Así que les voy a pedir a todos que por favor eh, enciendan sus cámaras. Entendido. Thank you. Dame un segundo. Close. Okay. All right. Everybody say cheese. Thank you. Ahora vamos a mover la pantalla a la otra sección. Okay. One more time. Everybody say cheese. Espérame, espérame. Okay, pueden apagar sus cámaras si desean. Okay, eh, continuamos con el video. Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes. Okay, everybody listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Give me a second. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. Let's look at the vocabulary words. Repeat, send cards. Send, send cards. cards. Send cards. Give presents. Give, Give presents. presents. Take pictures. Take pictures. 
sing songs. Sing, sing songs. Song. Dance. 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 Eat cake. Eat, Eat cake. cake. Have a party. Have, Have a, party. a party. Have a picnic. Have, Have a, a picnic. picnic. Eat special food. Eat, Eat, Eat special, food. special food. Wear special clothes. Wear special clothes. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. 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 Wedding. 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 Anniversary. 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 I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Graduation, Wedding, Anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. Ok, so va a escribir por lo menos cinco oraciones, utilizando por lo menos cinco actividades, expresando por lo menos cinco ocasiones especiales. For example, I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. Voy a tomar fotos en la graduación de mi hija. I'm going to wear special clothes. Voy a vestir ropa especial daughter's graduation. para la graduación de mi hija. After you complete this. All right, so you're going to give me five examples. And you are going to share the examples in the discussion forum. ¿A dónde van a escribir los ejemplos? In the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. No, teacher. All right. Ready? And let's go. In pairs. In pairs. Let's go. Number one. Uh. Um, yo tengo, eh, quiero ver tres ejemplos. No sé si este. Usted tiene. I'm going to eat, eat a cake for Mother Days. Mother Day. No sé si está bien. Repeat, please. I'm going to eat cake. Uh, for my. For. For. For my. My mother day. No creo que sea. Yes. Yes. I'm going. I'm going. 
It okay, verdad? Ah, for my mother It's okay. day. For my mother day. Number two. Is um, I'm going dance for my friend's anniversary. Anniversary. I go dance. I go dance for my friends. For my friends' anniversary. Number three. Tiene otro usted. Espera. Uh, I going to have a party for a for a graduation, my brother. I going have a party, have a party for my I going my to have, what? Wait a minute. I going to have. A party, le dije a party. Yes. For my graduation, ¿puede ser? For my... Que yo voy a hacer una, una, una fiesta por mi graduación. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Graduación. Number four, I'm going... Eat special food. Uh, eh, hay algunas que se le pone I going to y algunas no. O a todas se les pone, ¿verdad? Uh, to take, no, a to, no a todas. Y está con alabanza. Sí, uno aquí. Ah, ya pensé que usted. No. No, yo ayer me, no me fijé y tenía no, el audio encendido y hacía las oraciones también. Que mi hijo tenía. Estaba en un Zoom y estaban orando y salen las oraciones ahí. Ah, sí. No, aquí también si no se ponen a practicar. Ah, pero están tocando. Sí. Ah, yo pensé que era de, de algún radio o algo así. No, ellos están tocando. Ah. Pasa bien entretenida. Okay. <risa>
Ya salimos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Ingrid Carolina. Ingrid Carolina. Uh, give me a second. Carlos Daniel Cañas. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Saraí. Delmi Saraí. Edgar Wilfredo. Edgar Crespin. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Garcia. Present. Thank you. Edwin Monge. Edwin Monge. Absent. Linda Martinez. Present. Present. Maria Morán. Present teacher. Present. Maria Granadeño. Present teacher. Noemi Ramírez. Present. Olga Cañas. Por ahí vía Olga Cañas. Sorry, sorry. Present. Ok. Oscar Guerrero. Oscar Guerrero. Absent. Paola Alvarado. Present. Present. Rafael Morales. Rafael Morales. Present. Present. Raquel Hueso. Present teacher. Present. Raúl Zarzeño. Present teacher. Present. René Vizcarra. Present. Present. Rodrigo Melendez. Present teacher. Present. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. Present. Rolando Aquino. Present. Rosa Polanco. Rosa Polanco. Absent. Ruby Guadr Guadrón. Ruby Guadrón. Absent. Ruth Guzmán. Present teacher. Sandra Olano. Present teacher. Saraí Ruiz. Present. Tania Soriano. Present. Tatiana Colindres. Present. Telma Guadalupe. Present teacher. Vanessa Ramírez. Absent. Shomara Arabia. Present. Sochi Olmedo. Present. Excellent. Ok. ¿Todos ya terminaron la actividad o les falta? Finished, teacher. 
Okay, excellent. Let's continue with the next activity. Si no terminó, le queda de tarea. For the next activity, we're going to look at section 1.14. By the end of this class, you will learn, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. Al final de esta clase, desarrollarán habilidades en la detección de los detalles en la lectura, leyendo un artículo sobre las celebraciones de los cumpleaños en diferentes países. Listen, please. Uh, I don't in okay. countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life, so children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. Any questions about this activity? No, teacher. What is no question? What is? Noodles. Fideos. Nubix. Noodles. Noodles. Oh, noodles. noodles. Fideos. Correct. Fideos. Yes. Thank you. Correct. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and move forward and we're going to look at the knowledge check. 1.16. Instructions. Read the article, then answer whether the sentences presented in each article is true or false. Instrucciones. Lea el artículo. A continuación, responde si la oración presentada en cada artículo es verdadero o falso. So, you're going to read the article. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. Lo va a leer completo y después contestar True or false? Verdadero or falso? Then read the next one. Y lo mismo. Any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. All right. No, teacher. You will have five minutes, five minutes to work in pairs and complete the activity. Thank you. Ready? Let's go.
Espérenme, solo busco esto. Esto. My 21st birthday Saturday. I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me happy birthday. They're going to pull on my ear at one time. Once for each year is our custom. Some people pull on the ear. My friends are very traditional. They celebrate, celebrate her birthday. That's why I'm going to put her in true. The number one, true. True. Yes. Yes. Number two. Uh, tomorrow is my 16th birthday in a special birthday. So we're going to, have to have family ceremony. I am probably going to get some money in looking envelopes from my relatives. I love to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long time. False. Is going to False. 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 Because uh, who, who cook uh, is her, her mother. Next. Um, Number three is true. Yes, true. Four to me is true. Yes, true. To me, it's true. No, number four is false. Yes, false. Ustedes están en la plataforma, porque yo también estoy en la plataforma. Sí, yo estoy en la plataforma. Va, entonces la número cuatro es false. False. Mm -hmm. false. Entonces revisemos desde la primera. The number one is true. Number two is false. Number three is true. And number four is false. False. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ay. Aquí está. Hi. Hello. Yes, two. Finish? Finish. Yes. Yes. All right. All right, everybody. Looks like everybody's finished. We're going to go ahead and check the first activity. Let me have number two, Samuel. Number two, Samuel. Okay, Tanya. Number hi, two. hi, hi, perdón, perdón, perdón. All right. 
Sorry, false. Number three, Samuel. Hi. Ahorita se lo digo. True. True. Ay, disculpe que se me trabó el micrófono. That's okay. Number four, Noemi Yesenia. Eh, false. False. Okay. Are we missing one? Number one, Tanya Fabiola. Oh. Number one is true. Let's go ahead and check. Correct. Correct. Awesome. Good job. Does anybody have questions related to this vocabulary? All right, we're going to move forward to section two. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir sobre las partes del cuerpo. Parts of the body. There is for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee. Ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. So for homework, I would like for you to practice this pronunciation. Repeat, please. Head. Head. Eye. Head. Eye. Eye. Ear. Eye. Yeah. Yeah. Nose. 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 Back. 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 Shoulder. 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 Chest. 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 Stomach. 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 Thumb. 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 Hand. 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 Finger. 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 Leg. 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 Knee. 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 Ankle. Ankle. Uh, ankle. Throat. 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 Neck. 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 Elbow. 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 Arm. 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 Wrist. 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 His chin, his chin. Tooth. 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 tooth, teeth, teeth, mouth. 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 Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. Does anybody have any questions about the meaning of these words or the pronunciation or anything like that? Uh, teacher. Hi. Ar arriba de arm, 
eh, la que dice Griff, ¿cómo se cómo ah. se puso? Dice? Wrist, muñeca. Wrist. 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 La, la W no se pronuncia. Wrist. 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 Muñeca. Con T al final. Con T al final, correct. Wrist. Wrist. Yeah. What is trot? Huh? Trot. Okay. Trot. Oh, throat. Throat. Garganta. Throat. Throat. Okay. All right, so tu tarea is memorize this vocabulary. We're looking at 2.2. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo usar tengo más sustantivo y siento más adjetivo para expresar problemas de salud. Adicionalmente, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo este se usa en este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Homesick. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick, or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right.
All right. Sorry about that, guys. Time's already up, so we got to stop right here. We will continue tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Please continue working on the platform. Do not stop working on the platform. Advance as much as possible. You don't have to wait for the class. You can work on the platform as much as possible. If you have questions about the platform, you can ask me and I will help you. All right. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night.